dad's in the backyard He's always gotta stay busy Haven't spoken for months now You'll always let him down Buy guns, buy guns, buy guns, buy guns. Your mom's in a lawn chair. She's watching the storm pass. Cigarette dropping ashes. All over the ground There will always be Walmart, Walmart To buy some wall art, wall art There will always be a place to buy guns, buy guns, buy guns, buy guns. sermon 24 dead in Austin shot down by a boy Jet Arbor here on CJSW. I think we got one more track here. You just heard the song Walmart that was off of Disappointing Dog Park. Do we want to... I'll give you guys a moment. Do you want to jump right into Your Most Kind? Yeah, we can jump in. Sweet. Here on CJSW 90.9 FM. Okay. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6! I know your mother raised you better than this. Don't blame her. Don't blame her. I lost all interest in the thing. To love. Is it that that would happen to me? Is it that that would happen to me? How can I save you? I need you to do better for me. How can I save you? I need you to do better for me. Jed Arbor tearing it up, bringing the heat here on this cold Friday afternoon. If you're just tuning in now, you are listening to Desire Paths here on CJSW 90.9 FM. And I'm so happy to have the honor of having Jed Arbor back. Uh, they previously played here back in June 2022 and they were rolling through town for Sled Island and Things have changed quite a bit. I know at the time you were based in Montreal, but now you call Calgary home. And um, what a treat. Um, I was mentioning that before the music, we've got Jed here, vocals and guitar, uh, Javi on drums, and Ripley here on the bass. But do you want to introduce yourselves maybe in your own words? And I'm kind of curious how you guys came together. I know Javi especially has this 
foot in a couple different bands wallpaper for one so how how did this happen oh yeah there's uh we've moved to calgary which is very new and exciting uh ripley and i have been like long-term best friends lovers whatever you want to say <laughs> <laughs> um and uh the band has been like about six years long ripley joined maybe four years ago uh, and then 2019 something like that okay yeah and then we moved to calgary by accident like we just <laughs> kind of like we're driving through and then stayed and then all our shit is still stuff my bad is still <laughs> is still in montreal and it's been kind of crazy and then yeah we ended up in calgary and then i was in this basement show and javi was playing with one of his bands and i walked up to him i was like you're literally perfect please yeah. be my drummer he was like yeah whatever <laughs> And then, yeah, we've been playing with Javi for a year. This is actually the last time we're going to play with Javi, which is really sad. He's moving on to new things, which is a bummer. But, uh, yeah, so this is our last little time with him. And well, we have what some... a send-off. Yeah. Yeah, we love Javi. He's love been him. a really love great... Love you, Yeah, absolutely crushing it, all of you. He's the best drummer I know. It's actually wild. <laughs> so that's how we came together. Javi's, like, shaking his head <laughs> in the corner. Um, okay, I want to jump right into your last album, Disappointing Dog Park. Came out back in November, November 9th to be specific. Um, oh, I didn't even know that. <laughs> I did my homework. That's crazy. Um, but you had previously released a self titled album, and I think a lot of people kind of see that as being like, you know, the introduction to your sound. But on this one, I'm really curious. Where did the name come from? Did you have an encounter with a disappointing dog park? <laughs> yeah. I need to know. <laughs> yeah, actually, if those of you in Montreal um, will know, like, Jerry Park, there's, like, this horrible dog park there that's literally just, like, a fenced area, and it's, like, mud. And that's, like, the only place within miles that you can have your dog off leash. And Ripley and I were just in Jahi one day. Yeah. And I was like, damn, this is a disappointing dog park, because I fucking love dog... Sorry. <laughs> community so radio all good um yeah <laughs> and, then, uh, and then they were like that's a really good name that was a long time ago so it's been okay so it's it's been marinating yeah it has of. literally no relationship to the album it's just the best name ever it's, it's just a vibe <laughs> i love that yep. um cool speaking of which so album came out you all went on tour um i'm kind of curious what were some of the highlights you went on like a cross canada tour to my understanding you went from Squamish to Halifax, so... Yeah. I don't know. Um, so many highlights, so many lows, so many highs. It's, it was a wild time. I broke my uh, thumb <gasps> literally two weeks or three weeks before the tour started. Oh, no. And I was just like, crying at the doctor. He's like, there's no way you're going on tour. And I was like, oh, buddy, watch me. Yeah. <laughs> it's been so long. Like, hold my beer. <laughs> and so, <laughs> yeah, we got my friend Al, who used to be, who played on CJSW with us as a drummer. Mm -hmm. They, like, learned all the tracks within three weeks and then came on tour with us. So that was definitely a highlight. Like, they slayed. It was crazy. Yeah. And so I just got to, like, dance and sing really crazy, which was very fun for my body. Um, but, yeah, it's hard traveling with a cast. Yeah, no and kidding. I got the stomach flu twice during that tour. <laughs> Yeah, I think you had made a post about something about highs and lows, and I'm I'm definitely getting a fuller picture now. <laughs> yeah, it was wild. Do you have any highs and lows, Ripley? Uh, I mean, the highlights were, like, definitely the Calgary. The Calgary show was really cool, and the Montreal show was really cool. And it was cool to, like, connect those two communities or, like, connect the dots in that sense that, like, we had been part of the scene in Montreal and been part of the scene in Calgary, and it was cool to see, like, all the people coming out. Totally. And those shows were just wonderful. Yeah, like everyone we ever loved. It was so beautiful. Yeah. It was really, really nice. Yeah. And I got to crowd surf for the first time. <gasps> yes. We really love that. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe branching off of that, I wanted to touch on something that you mentioned during the last or during oh, I can't English today. The last time you guys came in, um, I, of course you were still living in Montreal and you spoke of YYC's potential why did i say why was he calgary <laughs> <laughs> and now that you're based here i'm kind of curious like is there anything that you especially appreciate about the scene anything that has kind of surprised you since basing yourselves here yeah um i think the scene here is seriously so good like so good it really yeah. shocks me like in montreal i think there's you're like there's so many people and it 
like no one gives a crap if you're a musician they're just like oh same like everybody's a musician everybody just but like the people that are actually like like political here like we're fighting against such an intense city yeah and there's such a small community of like queers and musicians that like we really like rally together and i feel like the community is so strong here and the biggest thing that i noticed about calgary is like the scene is not competitive here in a way that it was in montreal like everybody's so nice like they're just down yeah. for you to play music they're like excited about it because I also, like, oh, like, we need musicians you know yeah and like i don't mean to overstep i could be getting this wrong but i feel like there's almost this like oversaturation in montreal oh, so like yeah, yeah it, it's probably a lot easier to find your way here and it, it feels like sometimes people like in montreal like are just playing music to like get big and not mm. build a community yeah and, like here i feel like the priority is community which is really cool and something that i didn't feel in montreal I love that. (laughs) Yeah, I really like the scene here. It's cool as hell. Awesome. Um, I think we'll have, like, time for another question or two before we get back into the music. Um, Circling back to Disappointing Dog Park, I was really impressed with the uh, lyrics. Like, they're so, so... I don't know. I, the only word that's coming t- to mind is great, but I, that's not what I want to say. Um, but I, I wanted to talk about, you know, what are maybe some of the themes that maybe inspired that songwriting process for the album? Oh, <laughs> I know. Loaded question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You um, asked me to dig. No, that's good. That's good. <laughs> um, I write the lyrics by just kind of like brain dumping, like all the time so I have like a running list of lyrics on my phone at all times and then I'll just write a song and then pick some lyrics Mm -hmm. so there wasn't necessarily like a theme for that album but it was definitely written in a time where I was like dealing with certain things in my life so obviously that came across um yeah one like there's I moved a lot in the last couple years I was living in Nunavut for a bit and that is like the song that we're gonna play which is called Complete that's about like my experience in Nunavut just being like the like the darkest hardest two week like two months of my life yeah <laughs> that's really really cool yeah i worked in a like a group home up there so it was just like colonialism in action it was mm-hmm. really terrifying to witness and be a part of and like feel like i'm contributing in a bad way to the world <laughs> yeah. so um that song is about that um there's a couple songs about like just like exploring like b- body and like i I'm a very physical person, so a lot of it is, like, based in my body. I don't know if that comes across. Yeah. Um, yeah. What are some other themes, Ripley? You, uh, well, you drove across uh, the United States for one of them, Walmart, which we played just now. Yeah. <laughs> and that's about just, like, like the like we were driving in the middle of the night this one time, and we turned on the radio, and there was literally, like, a man doing a sermon. He's like, God will save you. And we were like, ah, oh, this is so creepy. And then we tuned to the next station. It's like, mass shooting in the... Ah! And then we're, like, driving... It's just so crazy, and then you walk uh, like Walmart. American dichotomy, right? No, it, it was. It's wild. It's cooked over there. <laughs> Even just like I, I went on a trip to Montana, maybe a year or so ago, and it's like entering like a whole other world. And I do feel like that comes across really well in Walmart. Yeah, it's it's wild over there. Yeah. So that was that song. Yeah, I think I wrote that on the road, with a little acoustic in the side seat. Yeah. Well, Ripley illegally drove. Inspiration <laughs> is everywhere. <I'm> just <laughs> um cool 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 uh i'm kind of curious um what else can we expect from the band in the coming year i, I know javi is leaving hey. a little shake up in the band perhaps a little shake up we have actually like a lot of plans and i think that's why javi's like i gotta tip out he's too busy he got so many bands but uh, um yeah we're working on a new album already like we're already sick of this booked one. and we're busy like, Let's go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um so we're planning a tour for the summer in june um another like trying to be cross canada but we'll see what happens and then we're gonna try and record uh we're gonna try and record in chicago with the the bean queen steve albini (gasps) that's awesome i'm really excited so we're gonna try and do that for our next album if we can get grants and whatnot you know see how it works but that's our goal amazing yeah that's so exciting um we'll jump into some more music i have one more question it's a fun one i think um the weather outside kind of (sighs) gross um i'm curious what's your favorite way to spend a snow day slash what are you up to later today i don't know (laughs) um 
<laughs> well, I got two dogs, um, so I have to walk them regardless of the weather every single day. So I'm really out there with my full snowsuit, and it's really fun. And you're not going to take them to a disappointing dog park, no, I hope. No, they go to the best dog park. They're <laughs> such lucky ladies. Do, do you have a favorite dog park? Uh, yeah, you know the one that's like by Britannia, kind of, up the hill from... Uh, oh I know Britannia area, kind of. Sandy Beach. Oh, I love Sandy Beach. Up the hill Beach. from Sandy Beach. Mm. There's so many dogs there. It's crazy. Yeah. But it's all these white bougie people, so it's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's like this, like, having a really good time with dogs, but not so great with human. Yeah. yeah. What a, What about Ripley and Javi? <laughs> Any snowy plans? Um, I'm working this evening. Oh, boo. But, no, it's okay. I like my job. Okay. Uh, <laughs> That's the silver lining. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. On a snow day? It depends. Sometimes I like to just stay in and drink coffee and relax and awesome nothing. i love it and I, I i don't know if Javi javi's mic. mic'd up javi what do you like sleep sleep he's sleep. sleep he's like a young boy you know he's like growing yeah. he needs yeah. a lot of sleep and a lot of food i get it he's booked and busy you booked a busy boy <laughs> uh to that end i will let you guys take things away we're gonna jump right into parasite awesome here on cjsw 90.9 fm Just a little tune up here. Okay. <clears throat> to find you How can I reach inside
That's Jed Arbor here on CJSW 90.9 FM, and we have one more track here. And uh, all set? All set. Take it away. <laughs> Low key, not set. <laughs> <laughs> this one's the song about none of it. Stop! 